All right, smarty pants. You were right. It was upside down. I got it wrong. I nearly walked right into that, and I bet that was a lot of work. Can you see her? Just there, or there? So yeah, she's built a web, beautiful web. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but the strand goes down to the chipper down there, just there. So it's gonna get broken but not today. Anyway, I've come down here to say two things. One, you bunch of eagle-eyed clever dicks. Yeah, and two, thank you for noticing actually because you were right. That blade is indeed mounted upside down and I, I never noticed. I put it on there. So, now I'm going to take it off, flip it over and put it on again. And that will now be the sharpest blade in here because he's been cutting on the back edge, which it'll do just at a different height to these guys. Yeah. Okay. For chopping up leaves, it was good enough. All right. I will want you and you and 17 mil, I think. Right, receiver is pretty much full, so plenty in there. I ain't got to turn them on. There you go. There you go. If I don't tell anybody, no one will ever know. While we're here. Yeah. They're on there. I know these aren't impact sockets, but I'm not actually grouch them up that tight. So the rotation of the blade keeps the bolts tight. I don't need to have them 500 newton meters. Right, cylinder off. Okay, let's go and cut some weeds. I've got no grass to cut, there is no grass, but I do have weeds. Again, the simplicity of this, well actually it's quite a complicated system um, in the design, but the simplicity of use is fantastic so i've got to order a new clip to go on there because when i spring him off he broke but i'm hoping where to put it i'm hoping there's enough to put it in that one there he is yeah the end broke off my spring clip yeah, but i said i'm hoping that it will actually stay on there enough maybe Yeah, still works. Shall we try it again? I've got the spare link. I've got the inclination. Let's go and see if we can fix this shredder. So you already know if you've been watching that this is a dirty, dirty job, which needs a bit of extra protection to try and stop me from getting covered in black khaki gunk. So this is the problem, is this, this chain. Um, it originally broke early in the year when we were doing some shredding. I don't know if there's something actually in the chamber that's jammed the blade. 
and that's what's broken the chain. Uh, I don't know, but we repaired it once. Um, I thought it was the new link that had broken, but it wasn't. It's actually an old link had broken again. So basically I've got to get back down in there and pull all that out and get it back up on top and repair it again. Uh, but it is really thick, black, stinky, nasty grease. So yeah, to try and protect myself from, from that, I'm using this, which is basically, well, it's one of those things, it's, it's a glove. It's a special glove used by farmers and veterinary surgeons and stuff when they want to stick their hands in or up places that you may not really want to stick your hands, if you know what I'm trying to say. It usually involves the rear end of an animal. Um, but, you know, I did it last time and it worked quite well. It's just, I mean, it's a big glove. Trying to get any dexterity on this is not that easy. So, right, we're probably going to get some rustling noises through the microphone. I just wonder whether to take the mic off, actually. And, um, do you know what? I'll take the mic off and you'll... I'll just record this through the microphone of the uh, camera. Otherwise, all you're going to hear is, is that. Yeah, good plan. Right, so, and also that I think, although it's a bit boring having the camera in one place, once I get covered in that, I don't really want to handle the camera again, so let's put you down there, where hopefully you can see a bit better what I'm doing. And the idea is, I'm going to unplug that from the back of there. So now you've got a completely different source of sound. Okay. Let's do this. It's not the sort of place you really want to get your fingers trapped in something like this. Ah, khaki. Nasty. But to repair the chain, I need to get the link that I've got to work on up near the top. Otherwise, otherwise I can't actually get hold of it. It's one of those jobs, much easier said than, than done. Okay, so i got to get that out of there. And I forgot to get the pliers in my pocket. Uh, this is a pair of pliers that was actually given to me by one of you guys. So, Angela, if you wondered if I was going to make use of any of your gear, well, I'm afraid I'm going to get it dirty. Um, quite dirty. Um, that's pretty twisted up in there, actually. Am I going to get you off of there without getting covered in caca? Put that glove back on. Do I look like um, Granny with droopy tits? <laughs> yeah, okay, listen. <laughs> right. Glove back on. Let's see if I can uh, pull this out of here. Okay, well that's one way to do it. Break it. I don't really want too many metal bits scattered around, but that is... Let me get that out of there. Right. That's a bit of the broken link. All i got to do now is get the other side is jammed in the hole. Oh, that's going to be some fun getting that out of there. Right, okay, so put the glove back on.
to get take that panel off there take these off and put a bit of string on the end of there pull that up it's the only way This is one of those jobs you just know you're going to get filthy dirty. It's just, I mean, as hard as I try, I, mean, I haven't done too bad so far, but I just know I'm going to get filthy dirty. And I also remember how hard it was to put that back up there. Before. Right, so, machine repairs are great fun. And while you know what you're doing, I mean, this is actually a fairly straightforward, simple job, it's just physically. A bit demanding because it's a very tight hole in there and that chain is really heavy. No idea what the dog's barking at. So, the thing is, I got it on there last time so I'll do it again. It's just, it's just a pain. What do I do with that bit of spring? Do I chuck it away? Oh no, there it is. So I had a message from, um, Another YouTuber friend the other day, Dan Jackson, you might know him as Cow Farmer Dan. Um, he's coming up in my neck of the woods sometime in the next week or so. Apparently he's got an engine off somebody who lives local to me. And the message was, can I call in a visit? And they said, yeah, of course you can. If I can get this link here back up on there, I might be able to tap what's left of that drive link out of there. I hope. Onto there. The idea being that hopefully, hopefully, I can guide this chain up, get my hand on it and guide it up, and then use this to pull it up through the hole. Yeah, okay. We'll try it. <coughs> I'm not going to put that around my neck again because that is covered in grease. Might even have to get another glove out in a minute. <sighs> get that to it. No. Right, so this chain's going to have to go over another link. Right that in there and then pull it up through here get that above there <sighs> something felt a bit sharp in there went easier last time. I think what we might have to do is actually twist the um, twist the PTO shaft a little bit just to tip that bit of slack out there. I just don't think I can. over there for a minute. That should hold it and I should be able to hit that out. Yeah. Oh, that actually came out a lot easier than I thought it was going to, which is a good thing because hopefully that means the link itself isn't that badly damaged. I kind of hope so, but that is, yeah, knackered. Right, I've only actually got to pull this over one tooth Literally one, that's all I need. I'm gonna pull the sleeves back down because 
That's what overalls are for. Get the dirt on them rather than me. I have been banned from putting these in the washing machine afterwards. I've got a funny feeling it's a case of I'll use these overalls for this, then they got to stay outside, and then um, they're either going to get thrown away, burnt, or um, yeah, I've basically told to be told to go and get myself some more overalls. <sighs> Can't see why. I mean, washing machines are there to get dirty, aren't they? Right, that's going to be the last time I do that this afternoon with that sleeve. All right. Here goes nothing. It's only a bit out. It really isn't that much. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. Oh, let's slip back again. One hole, that's all I gotta do. Just one hole. Ah, oh, that actually, that actually turned a bit. Did that do any good? Let's pull that chain up there a little bit. Has that worked? Oh, please say that's worked. Oh, 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 the bloke's a flipping genius. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Okay, that can come off there. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to run out of battery literally this second. I'll flip it while I do it. Because Sod's Law says. That's what must happen. Where did I put the link? Oh, there it is. One, two. Let's get these covered in a bit of caca. Okay, after all that, he's on there. Okay, so that one can go in there. That one hasn't come right through there. Sir. I wonder if that link has bent a little tiny bit. Are you going to go through there with a little bit of persuasion? Uh, that's right in the way, isn't it? All right, so. That link in there must be ever so slightly bent. But is it too much? Oh, that seems to have opened up a bit more. Oh, would help if the car pin was straight. I think that will go in there. I think it will do it. I hope it'll do it. Get in there. Get in there. I can't. I'm I can't actually see what I'm doing. As you all know, I'm a bit long sighted. But this isn't a job. 
to be trying to wear glasses really because they'll get covered in caca as well where's the hole there it is it's so close We've got one, but I daren't bend that pin over because I know what'll happen if I do that. I'll end up having to take that off again. So, in fact, I'm going to take them off again anyway. Now, let's see if I can work out what's going on here. There's just a bit of dirt behind there. Is that what it is? Because it doesn't look like it shouldn't go. Let's try putting that one on first. Not having it. So why? I mean, maybe there's a bit of dirt. Oh, maybe there's a bit of dirt on the back of there that's stopping it. Or in there. No, that one looks all right. It's just that one. think laterally for this. <coughs> okay, lateral thinking. <coughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> Blokes a genius. Right, over there. We'll put him in as well. Well, this one went in easy last time. So maybe. There you go. Okay. That worked. You can go over there, you can go over there, you can come up inside, and you go that way, and you can go that way. Isn't that pretty? So that's the chain rejoined again, hopefully, for the last time, for a while. What I'm gonna do, uh, before I start the machine up is I'm going to take the PTO shaft off if you look in there you can see there's another drive at the top so if I take the PTO off the bottom drive and put it on that actually puts the machine in reverse so that's what we're going to do we're going to start the machine up in reverse so if there is something in there causing that to break I can hopefully maybe spit it out and find it but until then I think I'm going to hedge my bets and keep the covers off. So, because I'll be operating this from inside the cab, I'm not going to go anywhere near it, he says, apart from going up the stairs to see what's been spat out, maybe. But I'm not going to touch that, okay? No one else is going to go near it. If I put the guards back on, it's just going to break again. I, I know it. So I'll leave them off so I can see what's going on. I can see from the tractor cab what's going on here. So, and it's going to be literally put it into gear, run it for about five seconds, 
turn the PTO off, get it on, and the engine, get up in there, have a poke about and see if I can find what the problem is. But not today. I've done the bit I wanted to achieve today. That's, that's that. It's joined. It's back together. All I've got to do now is break it again. <laughs> 